The other one was we did a couple of years ago, we did a tour of Japan, and that was, yeah, like an amazing, uh, amazing experience. It's like a different world over there. Yeah, it really is. Like, it's so amazing. Uh, everyone who'd been musically is always like, ah, oh, they always come back really humbled. <laughs> and they, they speak so highly of the people and the place. And so I, I was expecting big things, to be honest, yeah. you know, because of that. And yeah, it was amazing. And the people who brought us, it, on a Bristol sense, like um, it's, these, it's a guy called Naoki and a crew of people uh, who run BS Zero. Okay, so they and they absolutely not be, not be love inspired, bro. no. <laughs> they absolutely they absolutely love Bristol. Okay, they would come here on a holiday. I'm talking, you know. Oh like, wow! Yeah, over the years and years, and they know loads of the music uh, heads from Bristol. Yeah. So um, and and Naoki's got a shop in Tokyo, a record shop, and it's like nearly full of Bristol music. Wow! And so I'm I'm talking like it's amazing, you know, so far away. And people who know more about it than you, yeah, 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 yeah. really uh, studied it, man. And uh, they set up BS Zero, um, so for the for the Bristol postcode. And um, yes, so they do each one. I think the first one was Can and Neat, so it was uh, BS Zero One K N, and then I think we were the second, so BS Zero Two D K for Dub Chasm, and and it's going on like that with Bristol. Wow, Bristol okay, outfits, yeah. Uh, I wicked, man. It's, just been, it's just amazing to think like here we are in Bristol and there's people checking the vibe so far away. Yeah. Not just checking it, but really loving it and feeling it. Looking forward to the releases and throwing those parties. And we went around different different cities and the beauty I think of playing this music abroad is you get you get a real snapshot of the country because you're in and out, it's real quick and you're just seeing a nightclub. But me and Digi always try hard for that little bit of sightseeing and what happens is the promoter, you know, when you land somewhere you'd have to go straight on the, on your phone and look where's the best spot. It could easily be very touristy. But with local knowledge you've got the promoter who will often take you for a meal in a really nice local restaurant yeah, yeah. to try the local dishes, the local beer or the local whatever. Yeah. And um I, I always view that as, as one of the biggest perks and, and treats of the, of the work because you, you, know, you, you get to go and uh, see this place in a non-touristy sort of way. The and, authentic. Uh, yeah, authentic. real authentic. And, um, and you know, being in, in there in Japan, it was just crazy because you're like, we're on bullet trains. Um, it, it's just nuts, you know, like <laughs> the, the ancient culture side by side with all this futuristic technology. It's, um, it's amazing, you know, everything's so comfortable. Talking to those, there's no Ryanair business there. <laughs> <laughs> when we were traveling, like, it was so comfy, man. Me and Digi even fell asleep. We never do this, but we are like, <laughs> on one of these bullet trains going flipping fast. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you don't realize how fast you're going, and we're, like, we're leaning back, and then suddenly uh, we're hearing bang, 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 bang on the window, and it was the promoter of the next show in the next city, and we were going to miss the stopping. Wow. Because <laughs> it was so comfy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like everything, I got back and, um, and I just noticed how awkward and clumsy and uncomfy lots of things are where everything just works so precisely there and it's just, you know, if you suddenly think, oh, I could do with putting my jacket somewhere, there's the little hook. Yeah, just yeah. Just you think it, you know, it folds down at the thing. It's just like, it's all yeah, spot they on. They accommodate everything kind of thing. Yeah. And, and people's well-being where I think things like Ryan there don't care, they just try and pack on as many people as they can. They don't care about people's comfortability. Yes mate, they show a Bunna Ryanair show, isn't it? <laughs> Bunna Ryanair. I'm still sore from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Japan is just, everything there just seems like it accommodates for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Big, tall, really small. <laughs> Um, I'd fit in well, I think. I'd fit in well in Japan, I think. I don't know, look, they look down on you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot, you idiot. <laughs> nah, I think that's, that's kind of my size. It'll be good, it'll be good. Hey, yeah. my size. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely recommend uh, people going, it's, uh, yeah, if you can. Like, well, we're we, we going, Brian? We're going to go there? Yeah, we've got to go on tour, and a live stream from there, isn't it? Yeah. Bro, we can do it, man. If we start saving, we could go like two thousand twenty-five or something. Yo, Ryanair, hook us up. Yeah, Ryanair. Right <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna. They're never gonna hook us up. No, sheesh. Uh, okay, 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 okay.